that was going on with all my money motivated songs. A little chilly in the house, so I got a hoodie on. And this is happening, you wanted my hoodies. Nah, but this video ain't for promotion. This video is uh, some stuff I left out of the live earlier, you know what I mean? I really wanted to make the Tyrese interview a strong topic, but it kind of got diluted in the live because y'all know y'all got good energy and we end up rambling and talking about other things. But for the people who didn't see my live, Cause I want this video to really get out, you know what I mean? About mental health issues and laughing at somebody's pain, you know what I mean? We had Kevin Hart do a series called Laugh For My Pain. And I think people feel like they should laugh at everybody's pain cause Kevin Hart, you know what I mean? Decided to make a, a special out of that. But when it comes down to it, man, <clears throat> like I see the thumbnail that the Breakfast Club chose to put on the uh, interview was a thumbnail of Tyrese crying you know, if we wanted to see him cry, we could have just waited until the interview got to where it was going to the part he actually started crying, but that's kind of clickbaitish, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I feel like Tyrese has built a rapport with people to, if you like him, you're going to click on the video anyway, you know what I mean? But like I said, I'm seeing over social media people laughing at him crying and saying, oh, this finna be a, what more do you want from me part two? When that man has openly admitted admitted that he had mental health issues and he openly admitted that he was taking medicine, you know what I'm saying? But it's just crazy as a society that we like to bash people who are doing bad mentally, you know what I mean? That like, mental health, that is the worst place you can be spiritually, you know what I mean? Constantly overthinking, you know, uh, having your mind play tricks on you this mental health you ever been through it it's just it's, it's not pleasant you know what i mean i'm a person who's been through it so i guess but i, I empathize and sympathize uh, with uh I, I have a lot of empathy for stuff i ain't even been through i just it's like <clears throat> we working with a level a new level of demonic energy on this planet you know a lot of people have chosen their their master's way of thinking because a lot of these beings on this planet lack empathy they have no soul they have no way to comprehend a human emotion such such a delicate emotion as a human emotion is the one of empathy of real love that's why they don't exude it they don't show it when you see them they, they, they don't have the ability to do that so when you see a lot of these people out here showing a lack of empathy you, you just see what society has really brainwashed people to believe that uh, men should cry and that's one thing he said I'm glad he said that during the breath school while he was crying saying men cry like you know what I'm saying Charlemagne was trying to get, get him from tissue he was like nah man I don't need no tissue that, 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 that message went over their head because I guess it's the messenger like people just hate a good message when it's a so called bad messenger man if it's a good message bro listen to the message you know what I mean just like the message I told y'all about with Michael Rubin saying black people hating on each other who cares who said it is true? You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to Tyrese, he was saying a lot of, uh, he was dropping a lot of gems. He was just going over their head because I guess they want, they like to humiliate uh, Tyrese. So when it comes down to it, man, I had seen, like from the thumbnail, I already knew it was disrespect. On the thumbnail, how uh, Charlemagne was kind of talking to him. He wasn't talking to him. So you gotta, you gotta really know people and no body language and how they say stuff to know if they really um, talking down on you. Cause a lot of people can talk down on you through energy. You know what I mean? And Charlemagne, he does that a lot. And sometimes he does it verbally where you can uh, understand. So that's all I seen was a lot of verbal disrespect. That man was, he like, like I said, I respect the honesty when it comes to people. And he's been honest every time I seen him get on the platform, whether you like, what he was honest about is still you know what i mean like the messenger doesn't it doesn't it don't mean that like when you trying to listen to the message you know what i mean like a lot of stuff goes over people here because they're looking at like i said who said it and what they've done in their past you know what i mean so this message is no longer valid because the person who said it i don't like them immature way of thinking got a lot of grown a lot of uh kids in the adult bodies who never grew up and they don't know how to differentiate a, a good message, a good thing. They don't know how to separate the two. You know what I mean? So like there's a lot of people out here don't like to separate the character from the uh, actual movie, the, the actual person from the character that they playing. 
You know what I mean? A lot of people have need security just because the people don't like their character actually want to do harm to the actual person who's playing the character. It happens. So when it comes down to it, man, he was basically saying he was taking his jury off, you know what I mean? I ain't like the woman that was in there interviewing him either because she was on some, he was taking his jury off. He was like, man, I don't want y'all to love me for this jury. Another thing that went over these folks here, you know what I mean? Basically saying he don't want people to love him for that materialistic stuff. And you can tell, man, like, all right, I'm going like, going like 90s baby. So I done grew up while still, why Tyrese was still very, very active in his music career and his acting career. So I've seen a lot of growth within his character. So he's just like, he come to the realization like, man, I'm done with this. You know what I'm saying? I probably had, see, see a lot of people say a lot of stuff. They might say one thing, but like I said, their energy and their demeanor is exuding like, experience i've been through this you know what i mean so when he said that like i'm taking this jury off man i don't want y'all love me for this jury because he in the past i'm pretty sure he recognized that people only came around him for the fame the jury he had on probably asking how much did it cost how much them earrings cost you know what i mean so he's just you can tell when a person is fed up of the fakeness and he's keeping it as real and as blunt as possible you know what i mean i don't know what he's doing doing his personal life but what i got from this interview or somebody trying to tell these people man hey this this is what happened my past is my past i regretted it but i did it it happened you know what i mean so when he took off the jury he was like man i just got this uh this bracelet off of amazon for 23 dollars keeping it raw ain't no ain't no celebrity i feel like or no rapper on his stature is gonna say that they bought a necklace or i mean a bracelet for 23 dollars they're not gonna do it and the females like you know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, I can tell this fake. And the female was like, oh, yeah, I can tell it's fake. You know what I mean? First of all, you lying. You're trying to be funny because she wasn't even in close, that close of a proximity to him to see, like, if the diamonds was real. Like I said in my life, if you was that close and you was, and that's the only thing you was noticing about him was real, you not noticing his conversation is real, but you noticing the diamonds he got on is fake. That says a lot about your mindset. You know what I mean? It don't it don't make you an expert or cool because you can peep out fake diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Because they got real diamonds out here that you can't peep out that look like real diamonds, but they fake. Who cares if you can peep out real diamonds and fake diamonds? Who cares if the diamonds you're wearing are real or fake? Because I've been hearing this saying, well, fake people wear fake stuff, real people wear real. You know what I'm saying? That, that, no, no, no. Because he even made a smarter point. He was like, man, why am I going to buy all this expensive jewelry to wake up to a, a housekeeper saying, I don't know where it's at, you know what I mean? Cause I'm pretty sure he had experiences like that back in the day, you know what I mean? Losing earrings that's worth like half a million dollars. A lot of these people be buying stuff like that. They, when they up, they up, you know what I mean? So you think these housekeepers, these women that surround them who don't care about them, ain't stealing, going in their pocket, taking watches that they live on the dresser, you know what I mean? Like I said, I made a poor investment when I was younger, $200 on the grill. I was eating my food, took my grill out, and left it, you know, throwing it away. But I knew that moment on, I was not finna buy no grill no more. Cause like, it's so easy. It's so easy to lose stuff that you wasn't born with. You know what I mean? It's, it's easy to lose earrings. It's, it's easy to lose grills, necklaces, you know what I mean? And you gonna feel even crazier off the big ass amount of money you spent just to have that item and you carelessly threw it away. Why did you carelessly throw it away? Because you really don't care about it for real. Because it's something outside of you. It's nothing that you was, it nothing, it's, it don't give you power. It, it brings a, a certain power to your image, but it don't give you the person power. If anything, you had to put some stones or some like crystals in your ear, that'll give you or bring you some good energy. But all these, these diamonds they making, it's made not to give you any power, man. This is, this is just a perception. And then what he was trying to say in the interview, man, all this is a perception. Because even if that stuff was worth, like, that bracelet was worth $23 on Amazon, just on it being on Tyrese's wrist, he can sell it for, like, two dollars $3,000, probably even more than it, because people like him. Not everybody dislikes him, you know what I mean? So you make the jury, you make the car, you make the circumstance, you know what I mean? Don't nothing make you unless you let it. And that, that message just went over their head completely. They were trying to be funny because, you know what I'm saying, Tyrese, I guess... It ain't the most popular no more. He probably did something to taint his career by doing that crying on the internet. But hey, humans make mistakes. And he was saying that. And people just won't forget that. You know what I mean? Just like when it comes to Chris Brown, they won't let go of the Rihanna stuff. You know what I mean? And like, <laughs> it was crazy. It's a lot of these people who judge have worse past 
we're, we're surpassed in uh, these people they trying to point the finger at. You know what I mean? Just let's imagine somebody came into your world, an old judgmental person, and seeing all the skeletons you had in your closet. Would you be able to do all that laughing? But people like to laugh other people pain when the, when the, when the, shit, the shoes on the other foot, it ain't no fun when the rapper got the gun. I see a lot of people need to watch out how they treat people because you never know when your time is coming. You know what I mean? And you, you ain't moving too right to trying to judge everybody on how they move and how they used to move in the past. This man is trying to make a change. And you know what I mean? He ain't got it all together yet. Shit, we all ain't got it all together. Shit, we had, I feel like we had it all together. People who had it all together when we probably need to be on this planet. But we'll probably be on a, somewhere so, so remote that the humans that's been tainted couldn't get to us because it's toxicity in the, in the minds of the of the world, the people in this world. And I just wanna be around good energy, you know what I mean? That's why I push out good energy because I want it to come back to me, you know what I mean? But this is how it is, man, it's society. I look at it as a pleasant society, but I do uh, point out some of the negative things that I see for the people who still living in the world who wanna uh, change their perception on life, you know? If I can bring somebody who's thinking negative or who thought they was funny to my side, I'm like, okay, maybe that's not funny. Maybe I do have some something, stuff, stuff that I would be ashamed of if it got out. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people just got to mind, be mindful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's okay to cry. It's okay to do a lot of this stuff, man. Don't let nobody tell you it ain't okay to cry. It ain't okay to uh, just be to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Just incognito. Cause that's what a lot of people got to do to heal. They probably doing everything they need to do here, like eating healthy, they fasting, but it's just that environment, the social media environment or the environment they in, man. You got to you gotta break free, like at least one, two days, you know what I mean? Get your mind right, because a lot of people, they don't plan on getting their mind right. And a lot of people, ignorant people hear this video, like this man ain't talking about nothing. Because if you hurt, you hurt. You want to see other people hurt. You're not trying to listen to no positive shit. And I understand it. Though I say I'm able to put myself in other people's shoes, whether they negative shoes or they positive shoes. Because I know you ain't gonna understand. You don't want to understand because you feel like nobody understands you. And you know what I'm saying? And you don't even understand life itself. You don't understand energy. You don't understand just a holistic way of thinking. You know what I mean? A natural way of thinking. You don't even know that your way of thinking is not even your way of thinking. It's about the masses. It's about the subconscious programming. It's about everything you was to told, you know what I'm saying, to act, behave this way. Point the finger and laugh, you know what I mean? Anybody got an outside opinion of whatever's normal, laugh at them. Just call them weird, you know what I'm saying? Well, like I said, man, we got to shout out people like Tyrese and people who's actually like i said i'm not in their personal life but people who actually getting on the platform saying yes i've had mental health issues yes this jury don't make me yes this is fake jury that i'm wearing so what man am i ain't realer than 90 percent of the rappers because they won't even tell you that you know what i'm saying so man sh sh salute to tyrese y'all can put how many crying emojis how many memes y'all want about this man even when it come down to the hair and the beard and stuff, like people aren't even putting two together. When I first saw Tyrese like that, I, I my mind automatically went to him. He probably uh been a star in the movie. Everybody was like, nah, but this ain't neat. This ain't this might look crazy. He has an actor. He's an actor. So nine times out of ten, you should equate whatever he does like that to acting. You know what I mean? But like I said, a lot of people ain't using their brain up there. It's just here, but it's not, all lights are not on. Maybe over here, this portion of the lights just flickering but it is widespread life ain't on upstairs so yeah man y'all like the video make sure y'all hit the like button and share you know what i'm saying because people need to know man that it's gonna make more people not want to come out about mental health when you laugh at people who's displaying mental health in that interview he didn't really display he didn't really display too much he just displayed a lot of frustrations that he had with what was going on in the world but you know what i'm saying like we gotta stop kicking people when they down. They be the most like, and the, the, for me to make that video about Michael Rubin saying black people throw much head on each other, it's all the black people who's doing this to Tyrese. But y'all just got mad at Michael Rubin for saying it's so much black on black hate. But when you go to the comment section, it's the black people talking about Tyrese. That's what I don't get, man. That's what I don't get. Like, you know what? He's right. 
It don't matter if Michael Rubin, white person said it. It don't matter if a Jewish person said it. Mexican, he's right. Cause that was a, that was a couple days ago. Michael Rubin said that on the same platform on the Breakfast Club, and then you hear, then he goes on to be proven right by Tyrese being on the Breakfast Club and being bashed by his own people. Man, y'all are crazy, man. It's crazy, man. Man, yeah, like I said, I ain't gonna go too too hard. I didn't talk about it in my life, but man, y'all make sure y'all hit the like on this video and share it for people who have mental health issues or you know what I'm saying. People need to know it's okay to be able to vent. That's why nobody want to vent. And they go take a life or they go kill their own self, suicide. You know what I'm saying? And I think uh Tyrese even mentioned it in his uh in his interview. Because everybody laughs at you get when you got a problem. Oh, this human got a problem. And it was crazy, everybody in life has problems. But we point out what we wanna laugh about. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I going all night. But yeah, man, y'all uh, like the content, man. Y'all be blessed to walk in this smoke.